we always talk about today's generation and when I see this plugin or this element, this widget, vertical timeline, I want to talk about today's generation will never know back in my day. I was making a website a few years ago for a company and we were doing their history, their background all the way from 1970 whatnot up to 2014. And I didn't have this kind of plugin. I was doing it by dragging in elements and writing some stuff and doing a lot of Photoshop. And then when I first saw this vertical timeline widget, I was like, ah, awesome. And since then, I've not had the opportunity to use it. That's life. So let's look at this absolutely amazing plugin. And there, I, I want to look at a different way of approaching it today. Um, because like I said, originally I had to do a plugin or I had to do a website for it. And the website was a history of a company like when it was when it started its first factory and then when it was listed on on the shareholding and all those kind of things that was very interesting i did that all manually now we have this amazing plugin from crocoblock jet elements so search for it here called vertical timeline i'm just going to type in timeline and you're going to find it and what i'm going to do today is show you how it works by bringing in a little bit of a different flavor something from my own country so once you drag in the element you immediately get the idea how this thing works it's beautiful you scroll down and look at that nice animation of the arrow i think that is absolutely the part that makes this an outstanding feature there are many plugins like this out there they all do the same and this is what i like about it is that it gives you real feedback in how you are scrolling this is when something is also done right so I really, really, did I say really love this kind of plugin. Let's look at what we can do. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to plan a travel schedule. Schedule. Uh, yes, I remember what my English teacher said. Schedule. I'm planning an English schedule for a travel group that is visiting Cape Town, South Africa. And what I want to do is I want to put this on a separate page for them, members login, and then they can find it and they can follow what we are going to be doing during the day. Are you ready? Let's go traveling. So we start with card one and what I'll be using for this is of course images so we're here you have your title this will be the thing that you're going to do you can have your date over here now for me this entire thing is going to happen on the same date so i'm not going to be using this it says meta i think that is a little bit misleading meta is not truly what this is it's more like a um a subsection or a section or a title or a subtitle that's what i would call it so for example i'm going to change this to um, let's say step one for the day, step one departure, or the first thing that we will be visiting. Now I have to go and look quickly what we are be visiting, and that's why I'm going to use the images called here show image. And I'm clicking on that, and then I'm going to choose an image. And we will be departing from here, which is going to be the Victoria waterfront in Cape Town, Table Bay. So what I will be doing, say card one, uh, here, metadata, step one, departure, Victoria Waterfront, Victoria Waterfront. Okay, good. And I'm not going to mess around too much with this. We can also say here, uh, uh, begin here, begin our journey here. Right. So this is where we are starting our day and we will be starting here at the wonderful Victoria waterfront. There's some nice, super expensive hotels over here. Then let's go to the second card. Let's add an image here for what will be our next stop. And we will actually be doing a tour of the Victoria waterfront. So for here, I'm going to say, say then step two at my meta, and I'm going to say tour of waterfront, and then waterfront shops, something like that shops etc and now it will update this one over here nice nice image ferris wheel table mountain still there in the back and this is how we're going to be scrolling down next step let's see what we'll be doing next i'll add an image 
for this we will go where let's go to this place over here which is a golf estate and we're just going to show them hey we got money okay and the image is a wide wide panned landscape so uh we've got money what does that mean i don't know and then step three step three core gorgeous uh golf estate yes people if you love golf you better come to south africa this is golf crazy country i don't play it myself but they are truly nuts over here over golf let's look at the next one show image and then we'll be traveling to let's say table mountain and one of the things that you'll definitely be seeing at table mountain is r is the baboons and they will be saying so your title is baboons in action baboons ba baboons and then our this will be step four or stop four it should be stop right we're stopping at places stop four table mountain and from here let's add one more item and then we'll say something uh, wait 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 not there we go delete go away show image and we're going to add this one over here of the penguins penguins in africa yes indeed this is at a place called boulders bay so we're going to give it the title penguins in africa and it's going to be stop number five i'm changing it to stop now and calling it boulders boulders bay and then there will be description adopt a penguin of course not <laughs> anyway there you get it and i'm every time i load this photo i start laughing uncontrollably because of this little fella here what is he busy with of course he's just cleaning his chest i'm gonna get so fired for saying that but it's a very cute image come on africa is cute la. right so this is essentially how the timeline works and i just love the features within this that it's a simple scroll it is very logical it is very user phrase uh, user uh, interface friendly let's have a look quickly at the layout over here so you can do a few things you can animate the cards which is always nice people love animation uh, they think it makes everything better in the world as long as things are animated it will be a good day so if you scroll down you will see things animate in from the left and the right i'm going to turn it off and then you have horizontal alignment so this one is a little bit mm, questionable you will have to decide if you've got a lot of content and maybe no picture now your timeline is here displayed on the left so you can scroll down like this if you prefer the timeline on the right of course then you're going to choose right but i, I kind of feel it misses the whole purpose of the timeline i like it in the middle the other thing that you will be able to do is play around with this one vertical alignment and this one is quite difficult i cannot decide which one i like more with the vertical alignment at the top the step will appear here at the top and then my dog starts barking again and with the vertical alignment at the bottom we can go down here and then this is different right so you have all these various options where you can be placing it i'm going to leave it for now there in the middle though i do like the one at the top and the one at the bottom horizontal space this is going to increase the gaps between your timeline and your cart you can reduce it leave it around 20 which is the default very nice and then the vertical space is the gap between your events i would keep it as close as possible i was trying even to go into negative margins which i couldn't do so yes you you can leave it for me i'll probably leave that at a zero styling um a lot of things that you can do here with the styling i was playing around with it and i got some interesting effects so for example i can go into the background and i'm going to give it this teal color and then from here what i did i gave it a border a solid border and i made it pretty big 10 and then i changed the color of the border to the same so that looks pretty pretty interesting very nice except that this teal and this blue completely clashes there's no harmony in that so we have to go and change that first thing i'm going to do is change this line color here so you have the normal line color which we leave at this gray and then you have the progress color which is this blue i'm going to change that to a dark color that teal over there now you can also change the thickness of it maybe a little bit point 
you will see next what is the point let me change the color of the point you see it's the little image inside but i'm going to leave it on white then for our description title content now i have to remember where i got these colors no that is the content oh that's not bad either but i'm going to clear it i don't want that for the meta meta is this one here on the right change the color to red okay and then the image and then we have the cards i'm just going to have a look here at the point i i think the point was the one inside right we looked at that ah there we go so the point is that thing which is well obviously a point which i missed completely right so look at that nice do you agree nice do you give it a thumbs up do i like professional if i look professional please give me a thumbs up okay right that is the timeline element and i really like it i i'm looking for every opportunity for every website and every chance that i get that i can use this and here i use the schedule you know i just want to add something for uh Jeffro castle which was our english teacher at school that yes we say schedule in south africa we're supposed to say that but because of all the american tvs and movies we had as kids many of us say schedule so we are a hybrid nation rainbow nation right good if you are interested in this go check out the links below you can buy it as a package with croco blocks you can also follow other links to get jet elements separately you don't have to get everything and that is from other partners out there so go ahead and check the links below hope this was helpful to you hope you find an opportunity to use this awesome feature this is jp here with websites for beginners